members of the South African Police Service confiscated goods worth a combined value of 50 million rands and counting Friday afternoon. This is part of the sub's nationwide safer festive season operations that were launched earlier on Friday. <laughs> Yep. So everything is just fake. But this is one of the smaller ones, you know. The bigger ones we had downstairs and we're opening bigger ones now. Okay. 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 Not even mm -hmm. worth three rand. <laughs> so outside is a Rolex one. Yeah, the Rolex one. <laughs> So this is Yo. what you find inside. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh. You'll return it for to change the battery. It's a rubbish. Where are the owners of this place? They are away. They are away. That's why we got are so big, but we made them for rest. Uh, we had search warrant, everything in place. The lawyer was telling me it was a red tie, but I didn't allow him on my crime scene. So I said he can go and see his client. He says his client is the building owner, but that is not a client for me. Uh, we arrested no for the dockets we completed in the shop. So my guys went with the docket, everything. Copies of the wa search warrants, everything to the police station. They detained them, we confiscated a lot of money. That's also been in the police station. Yeah. And uh, I think we're going towards 50 million. Yeah. Yeah. We might. Yeah, but now, it's important. Where, where do you we need to attach this thing. That's what I want to do. Because, no, no, this is the first time here, but the other one was just over the road. Remember when we were yeah, in July? Yes, so, uh, the general, what happens is, uh, they, they, they're getting much more clever. But uh, before, you, you never used to have this thing, because this is what you were looking for to find if it's a branded or not. So they keep on evolving to show that it looks more and more like the original, but still it's not. So that's why our brand protectors are joining us. Um, to identify for us that uh, everything is fake on this uh, uh, short sheet. Oh, the, the, the country is losing billions. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Some of the shops in Johannesburg, when they open their registers, they also confiscate their registers. Um, okay, it's about four times the size of this shop, but uh, when I read these books... The National Commission of the South African Police General Fani Masemola was on the scene and spoke to the media. We are here in uh, Belleville in Cape Town uh, as we have launched national uh, operation, uh, national festive season operation uh, earlier today at Kailisha. There is an operation at uh, Belleville to deal with uh, one of the focus areas of our festive season operation, which is uh, could, which is focusing more on firearms, uh, second-hand goods dealers. So here we have got the warehouse and shops, uh, huge shops that contains fake clothing as well as fake watches. Our police has been busy here since the morning. Uh, up to now, the goods that have been confiscated, which they are still continuing the operation, up to now is about 50 million of goods confiscated and they are still going on. So this operation is not going to end up here. We will see such operations countrywide. Uh, well, as to when we will be announcing us and when we fi finalize with those operations. But we are continuing. This is just a start because this kills the economy of South Africa because these goods are fake and uh, the country, we as South Africans, we are end up being just consumers of fake goods. Whereas uh, at the end of the day, somebody somewhere outside this country is gaining economically from uh, the, the resources of this country. According to the police, the figure is likely to continue rising as and when the team confiscates more counterfeit goods.
the operation is still underway. Four people had been arrested and will be charged with contravening the Counterfeit Goods Act of 1997. Onisi Nube, reporting for AVG News, Johannesburg.